Greetings, friends. David Marks here with a really quick tutorial for you on how to import photos into the cloud-based version of Adobe Lightroom. I covered importing new photos from a digital camera's memory card into Lightroom in a previous video. Most of what I have to show you today is exactly the same as the steps that I covered in that tutorial, which is why this video can be so short. I do have one or two new tricks to share though, so let me jump right into my Adobe Lightroom cloud-based catalog and let's get started. Before I started recording this tutorial, I found a folder full of photos inside of my computer that I want to add into Lightroom. If I minimize Lightroom for a second, then you can see this folder here on my desktop, the one I'm calling Favorite Photos for this demo. In this folder are some images that I really love. These are files that I want to add into my Lightroom cloud-based index. To do this, I'm going to bring Lightroom back up. Then I'm going to tap on the My Photos icon, if it's not already open, this one here that looks like a stack of books on the left side of the screen. Next, I'm going to tap on the Add Photos button icon, which is the little round plus sign at the very top. When this operating system window appears, I need to leave Lightroom over that folder that I showed you just a few seconds ago. On a PC, this window will look a little different, but on either platforms, there are icons on the left for popular storage locations, like your computer's desktop or your pictures folder and more. Since I know that the folder that I want lives out here on my computer's desktop, I'm going to click here and then I'm going to select the name of that folder. Next, I'll tap on the Review for Import button to open up Adobe Lightroom's Import dialog. At this point, the import process is really no different than what I demonstrated in my other video. If I didn't want to add all of these images into my cloud account at this point, I could uncheck the ones that I don't want to import right now. Likewise, I could click on and off the Select All button to import all of them or to uncheck all of them. Next, I could click on the Add to Album button here to add these into an existing album or to create a new one. In this case, I'm going to create a new album for these photos. So I'll click here where it says New, and then I'll give this album a meaningful name. At this point, I'm all set to begin the import and upload process. Before I tap on the big blue Add Photos button in the upper right, though, let me just show you one additional feature. Do you remember a few minutes ago when we told Lightroom that this was the folder that I wanted to search for my new photos? Well, what if it turns out that we had accidentally targeted the wrong folder? If that happens to you, if you lead it to the wrong place, then either you could tap on the cancel button here and start all over, or you can just click here on this folder and magnifying glass icon to select a new source. Now, I'm happy with the folder that I already targeted, but now you know how you can change from one source to another if needed without having to start all over. Anyway, since everything looks good in here, I'm going to tap on the Add Photos button in the upper right. And just like that, Lightroom will begin to copy these images into my index and then up to my cloud storage account. That was super easy. Before I end this video, though, let me remind you that Lightroom is copying these files. It's copying them to my account at adobe.com. Copying means that this program is not going to automatically delete anything from my hard drive. If I minimize Lightroom again, and if I open up this folder, then you can see that all of those photos are still there. This is the critical thing to understand because once these have been added into Lightroom cloud-based, I can delete all of these photos. In fact, I'll delete this whole folder and Lightroom won't be upset at all. This is where the cloud-based version of Adobe Lightroom is so different from the older desktop-focused program called Adobe Photoshop Lightroom Classic. If I were working with Classic right now, if I weren't working with a program that syncs my files to Adobe Server, then deleting a folder full of images from my computer would be a disaster. But since this program copies these files to Adobe servers for me, I can hop back into Lightroom and nothing is missing or damaged. If I click here to show the square grid, you see this little check mark in a circle down in the bottom corner? This symbol means that a copy of this file has been sent to Adobe and backed up for me. 
As long as you see this symbol, the check mark in a circle, then you can rest assured that these images are safely stored for you on Adobe server. I hope that you found this video helpful. If you learned something today, then please hit the subscribe button and leave us a like or a comment down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in our next tutorial.